five, four, three, two, one. All right, uh, lift off and the clock has started. Yes, sir, reading you loud and clear. Hey everyone, it's Randy Coppola and Mike Wagner and we're from U.S. Orange Report and Veterans Space Report. We really appreciate your views. Yes, it was great and you know we almost have enough money from your donations to bring a disabled vet to a launch at Kennedy Space Center. So Something thank that you. would change their lives, really, it really would. So please keep us in mind with your future donations and if you're going to use stills from that SpaceX anomaly, that one in a million shot that we got, please go through licensing. We would use the money to bring a disabled vet to see the launch experience. That's right. And that includes video too. We just, there's been a lot of people who haven't gone through licensing. So, and we really appreciate you subscribing to our channel also. So thanks so much and we'll see you soon. So the touch and go sample acquisition mechanism or TAGSAM is this arm right here. And what the TAGSAM is, is the TAGSAM is about an 11 foot arm uh, that consists of several parts. It starts with the head and the head is about a 12 inch circle that looks like an old GTO air filter. And it's about the same shape and size, about that tall. Um, and that's attached to an arm. And just like an arm, the TAGSAM has all those joints. So it's got a shoulder joint, which is right here at the top. It has an elbow joint, which is down at the bottom. And then up by this canister, which is closed right here at the top, that's called the launch canister, there's actually a wrist that gets to that head, that circular head that collects the sample. Hi guys, this is Mike with U.S. Launch Report, and uh, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and uh, thank you for your donations. Uh, they're greatly needed and greatly appreciated. Soon we'll be sponsoring a, a vet out here at a launch, we hope, but uh, we need actually to get one more 4K camera to bring you much clearer launch coverage. So, anyway, we really appreciate your support and your donations, and we really thank you for subscribing, and we hope to bring you some more good videos. So, for U.S. Launch Report, this is Mike Wagner. This here is uh, the Osiris Rex mission going to a, millions of miles to an asteroid, and they know the exact day that it'll come back, September, 24th, I believe, 2023, and right where it's going to land, pretty close to where it's going to land in the Utah desert. That's some incredible math. So, for U.S. Launch Report, Veteran Space Report, this is Mike. Thanks for watching. So, it started off as a contest that was won by Jim Harris um, with a cup and an air compressor in his driveway. He showed that uh, with the reverse vacuum, you could collect material. Um, we then have matured the technology a long way since then and tested it over a wide range of materials, uh, over a wide range of temperatures, pressures, obstruction, no obstruction, vacuum, no vacuum, before and after vibration, and really proven that this is the right way for us to get our sample from Bennu. Our Those picking up my boats, we 
are assembling down in the parking lot. We go out to pad 41, those pick up for notice. Assembling down in the parking lot. Thank you. 
Thank you. 